Around the world, millions of people are migrants or descendants of migrants. Most of them maintain links with their home country, and we refer to them as diaspora or transnational communities. I'm one of them, born in Russia, worked or studied in various countries and married to a German. Persons with multiple migration experiences and identities enrich our societies through cultural, economic or social capital. Transnational communities connect to their countries of origin through regular phone calls, visits, but also by transferring parts of their income or savings, often to support families or friends, but also assist with concrete development projects, such as construction of a road, infrastructure upgrade in a hospital or support to a business. In my past, I helped one school friend to start her local shop, but also sent money last year to another school friend whose house got burnt in an unfortunate accident. Among policymakers and international professionals, one tends to only think about migrant remittances as the main contribution to development. Recording this message around 16th of June, the United Nations International Day of Family Remittances, we cannot but recognize the significance of these monetary transfers of migrants. Despite COVID times, remittances did not drop drastically as initially predicted, but remained resilient, outpacing direct investment and the official development aid. When celebrating together with the UN and other partners the International Day of Family Remittances in 2021, IOM would like to use the opportunity to also draw the attention to all other economic types of contributions that migrants are bringing to their societies, such as investment, philanthropy, or knowledge transfer. These are similarly crucial, yet uncounted and hence understudied contributions of migrants that one easily forgets. As a coordinator of the United Nations Network on Migration and the longest advocate on linkages between migration and development, IOM decided to fix this unfairness in presenting migrants' contributions and elaborate a technical guide on how to start more consistently capturing those contributions in national accounts. In collaboration with DMM Global, we developed this very innovative methodology of both advocacy and data collection titled Contributions and Counting. We hope that this guide will be useful to countries and international partners in becoming more consistent when describing and calculating migrant economic contributions to development. This is a direct objective of the Global Compact on Safe, Orderly and Regular Migration to continue empowering diasporas and to harness development benefits of human mobility. Please do not hesitate to approach IAM across the globe and us in Geneva with feedback, suggestions or offers for collaboration around this new guide and the new methodology. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we can start telling a more balanced story about migration and human mobility, the one which is not about destitute and risks, but also about empowerment, mutual benefit and prosperity.